Okay, so Saturday morning, I'm gonna run easy errands, like, not easy errands, but errands I've been need needing to run. I need to wash my car. This car needs to go through a car wash and I have to get gas. I'm gonna do groceries and uh, get home. And I need to dye my hair. My hair is really gross today. I have so much dry shampoo in it. <laughs> it's, oh. And then, um, I don't know. I think that's it. Now, what are we doing for lip? Oh my god, this is so... Like, I can't even see it anymore. Okay, it's Deafening Silence from Lipstick Queen. Looks like that. I always hate things that are like kind of in this compact form, but like, it's such a pretty color that I'm like, I don't care. It's supposed to be like a matte gloss kind of thing. And it always feels really comfortable, so I enjoy it. And you always need to have like some kind of neck and nearby. I don't know. I feel like this is going to be a really boring vlog. <laughs> Why do I think that? Um, okay, so what details can I share with you? Glasses today are... These are the glasses I got from Ulta a while ago. And they're like kind of copycats of the Chloe. Is it Chloe? Yeah, the Chloe Carlinas that I... Have I like, but I would never actually buy because I probably wouldn't wear them that often. But they, you know, they suit a certain look. I have a bomber jacket on, and like, I don't know, it works today. I have my little Prada. I think it, are these called camera bags? I think they're called camera bags. So this is one. It's pretty a standard look, but I like that it has like the red in it. It's a standout favorite. And oh, I have a new phone case. Isn't it cute? It's kind of holographic. Like it goes from like dark blue to gold or it goes like kind of purple to like rose gold i had seen this like many times on different websites and there was i saw it on groupon and it was like 12 bucks or something so i thought it was like a really good price so i grabbed it amongst other things okay went to target for i was went to go look at groceries but there wasn't really anything i wanted to get so of course we get all this junk food so have the dark chocolate espresso trail mix with chocolate covered in praline almonds, mocha pecans, chocolate chips, hazelnut, and chocolate covered coffee beans. My fave. These are also my fave. You've seen all these before if you watch um, whenever I go to Target. These are the salted caramel cookies. Are these getting discontinued because these were on clearance? Or maybe they were, I don't know. These are my favorite. They're super good. I'm a Twizzlers fan. And the thing is, whenever I have them, I always have like one or two and then I'm like over because it tastes all plasticky. And I always like the ones that are like filled. And those, again, like, I don't know, I'm never obsessed with the flavors. These two, I have them in the car. So good. We have key lime pie. And then we have orange cream pop. Super, super yummy. Okay. Then I went to Aldi. I got celery. And I have this guacamole. I hope it's good. They had a Southwest version too, but I decided to just get the original. And then two things of zucchini. Finally, I was trying so hard to get it last week and I just couldn't. Um, either the Aldi I went to didn't have it and then finally, so I have two. Plan on having lots of zucchini noodles this week for lunch and dinner, probably. Um, these are gluten-free things. I'm not eating gluten-free, but um, they just look good. Rosemary and olive oil, multi-seed crackers, jalapeno jack, ancient grain crackers. Those edamame and lentil ones last week, so good. That onion one was delicious. They taste kind of like poppets without like the Indian, like whatever the intense, whatever makes it taste intensely Indian poppets. Those are also made of lentils. So the ones from last week were super good. We have some Thai red rice noodles. I'm kind of excited for this. We'll obviously mix this in with the zucchini noodles. We have habanero jack and gouda cheese sticks. Again, gluten-free, and I'm not gluten-free. This one was just the flavor I wanted, the spinach, artichoke, and kale. I'm sure there's like two bites of kale or something in here. Okay, got a brioche because, you know, we are all obsessed with it. Now, tell me if you guys have seen this. The sliced brioche loaf. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I'm popping this in the toaster, ASAP. Good morning, it is Monday morning. I did not vlog at all after Saturday morning where I like went and got groceries. Um, so Saturday when I woke up, I felt like 
my skin felt a little sensitive. Like my cheeks were kind of, um, ooh, that garbage guy. Okay, so I felt like my cheeks felt a little sore and a little, like a little itchy. And I was like, okay, whatever, it'll just pass. Maybe like I should have turned the AC on. Maybe I slept and it was like too warm or something. So at the end of the day, I took off my makeup and it like looked really red. And then Sunday morning when I woke up, it was like a literal, it was an even amount of texture on my entire face. And it was so red, so itchy. I put on that Skin Fix stuff and I took an allergy pill because I'm like, is it eczema? Did I get it on my entire face? Like it was like perfectly covered. If you wanted an even coverage or texture, that's what was happening. This morning when I woke up, it was less red, but I still had this texture on my entire face and it the whole thing is itchy so i don't know it the first day i saw it, it looked exactly like rosacea to me um but it's like the whole thing is tingly and itchy um and when i itch it like you know when i run my nail across it i can feel like a little bubble pop and then i kept cleansing using like the cleansing water like the kagendo one um, and I didn't put anything on it, but within an hour, my whole face would feel like really oily. So I'm just not really sure. And I was like smelling, you know, sometimes when your face smells funky, there's something wrong there too, but it didn't smell weird. It just, it's just so like. All right, so I might be grossing you out a little bit, but I know when I talk about eczema on my face, or when I talk about a lot of different things <laughs> on my face, you guys are like, oh, I can't really see anything wrong with your skin. Um, it's this camera. It doesn't have a blurring and it doesn't do any of that, but it does bring in a lot of light. Um, so I tried aiming the camera kind of away. You can see all this redness coming through and I have like a layer of foundation on and everything is just so inflamed. Like every little, do we see this? Very red. I know you guys never see my face like this. Look at it, isn't that crazy? My scar on my face is like super irritated. Um, just everything, like I don't know if we can get some texture showing. I don't know, you guys can probably see it, right? Like it is not smooth. And I don't know if I ate something wrong or what, okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> but I, I really don't know, like I'm so sick of this. Between eczema and then, I don't even know what this is. I don't know if it's like things I'm allergic to I'm putting on topically. I don't know if it's if I'm eating something that's doing this. It's just like I clean my pillowcase, I sleep on my back, I I generally do everything you're supposed to do. I, I have no idea. So I've decided to share some things that I have showed you earlier to update you on what I really think and then share new things with you. So Henry Bendel had like did a promotion it was like 20% off 100 etc etc um but then they sent me like a 25 dollar like gift card i guess um so i was looking at the wallet that i had showed you guys before that i'm like really into like it's green like yay shaped not yay shaped but like this size and like a little gold like clasp thing and i'm like okay it needs to be oh, sorry itchy actually whole entire face is itchy it has to be around a hundred dollars for me to like want to pick it up and then with the promotion it was it was like $101 but I was like I don't know I just didn't really want a wallet so I picked up what I know I would love which which is the sweet 712 candle the big one so $25 off this is like an awesome price so I have one in my living room I have one in my office um, like at work work not my home office and then this one's going in my bedroom I already have a couple like little ones in the bedroom but they don't like this size really sense up your room like it makes it's super fragrant, like even without lighting it. Ugh, oh my God, it's so good. So as of now, I've gotten like Ashley into it. I sent her like a kit and I obviously, you know, I got Andrew into it and he wears this and has this in his place. Oh my God, oh, okay. Um, Epiphany, this is kind of random, but maybe I'll share it with you guys. I've already shared it with them. So I was wrapping up Andrew's uh, birthday present and I was like, oh, actually, when is this vlog going? Yes, go wish him a happy birthday on probably Instagram or unless he has a vlog up this week, then then do both. Um, but I was like wrapping his gift up and I'm like, wait, I just did this like last week for Ashley. Oh my God, the sun. Anyway, now that the sun is kind of not as in my face, I was wrapping up Andrew's gift and I was thinking, I had just sent Ashley her gift like last week and then I was like, hold on, 
her birthday is the same week as my brother's. And I was like, okay, so these are like my, generally my three favorite people, like, and their names all begin with A, and I was always like, okay, that's like something in common. But then, you would think that I would have figured this out by now, but I looked up all their birthdays, and they're all Geminis, and I was like, this is so weird, because these people are who I feel like get me more innately, like, like I can just, you know, it's easy. Conversations are like, you know, no explaining, like it's just super easy, these people understand my personality, I feel like I get along with them. And I'm like, oh my god. And I don't even care about horoscopes and zodiacs and stuff like that. Like to me, that kind of thing, it's like, it's like kind of entertaining. And I'm like, there's some like superstitions I've grown up with, you know, whatever culture you're from, being Chinese, I have like my own kind of things that I have been like, I guess conditioned to think. Whether or not I rely on that to make decisions in life, uh, not necessarily. I think I take the approach of like, if this is an auspicious day to do something, or if this is an inauspicious day to do something, and it makes no difference to me, I will generally go for the auspicious day and avoid the, you know what I mean? So it's like, um, it can't hurt. That's kind of my mentality when it comes to these kind of things. So I had, it was like such a huge epiphany for me, and I was like, I texted like Ashley, and I texted Andrew, and I'm like, oh my god, you know? And I just have decided like, <laughs> If your name is, if it begins with A and you're a Gemini, I like by default will probably enjoy you as a person. So, um, yes, I, that's such a random thing to share, right? Okay, all of that because I talked about this candle. All right, I showed you guys these last last vlog. I got them in the mail from Maui Moisture, obviously. These things smell so good. I've been using this for as long as I've showed it to you, so, so about a week, so about a week. Um, I really like it. I've been using it as just a... Um, heat protectant like before I like do any kind of like heat styling it doesn't say it's heat protectant also for those in the know how do we know that heat protectant is even working like like seriously how do we know because I don't know okay is this a better angle I don't even know or is it like better lighting because okay this thing I just keep here because like whenever I go outside I like just lay on it so whatever it's not a really cute thing to be showing you right now but okay so back to this stuff I use the shampoo and conditioner last night and I really like it. I always use just a regular shampoo and then I use a hair mask as my conditioner and I haven't used an actual conditioner in a really long time and I like it. I really liked it and I think another reason is because this is one of those like sulfate free ones so it doesn't have much lather so you just have to do a really good job of like um, getting it into your hair and making sure it gets everywhere but I really liked it. I I think I especially liked, well no, I think I like both of them. I, I was gonna say I more especially liked the conditioner because I felt like, I feel like every strand feels like super clean and super like, not soft because my hair is never gonna feel soft because it's like dry and coarse, but like, I just I just think it looks really good and, and but like I just, I feel like my hair, it, look, it just feels really nice. Like everything looks, it looks like glossy, if that makes any sense. Like. Right? Don't we feel like this looks so fresh? Like, it looks really nice. And I, don't, I didn't put any oils in my hair today. Okay, so I picked up the Kat Von D Lolita eyeshadow blush. Not because it was like limited edition or anything, just because when I saw the color on Instagram, I was like, this is a me color. And I'm very into this kind of shade range. Um, anything that kind of looks like this or a slightly more purple, slightly more red, um, quite into it. A lot of the shades in the Viseart Dark Mattes palette kind of look like this. There's like four shades that kind of go into this color family. So that's that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just to give you a comparison, um, the original, not the original, the ones that are in the permanent line run for $21, I think, and there's 2.8 grams of product in mine. And then, I say in mine because I don't know, like, I got mine a couple years ago, so maybe, I don't know if they've changed the amount of product in it. Um, this one has more, it has 3.2 grams and it was 19. So, better value, but I think it's sold out on Sephora. I don't know if Kat Von D's website still has it. Um, I know it's supposed to be in store, but I'm pretty sure people have already started calling. So, I don't know if you can get your hands on it or not, but it's really nice. I really like it. The formula blends out so beautifully. Um, and I think on warmer skin tone, when you kind of run into the crease, depending on how the light hits certain parts of your eye, you can get it to look really, just, it looks really pretty. Um, and I generally like shades like this because I like um, to make my eyes look more hazel, if possible. So, but we know limited edition is kind of like a, you know, like they're probably gonna re-release it or it's gonna be added to the permanent line or they're gonna put it in a palette. You know, like, come on. We know that limited edition means absolutely nothing nowadays. 
Another new item I've been trying out is from Tarte. It's the Tardis Double Take Eyeliner. It has one side with a pencil and the other side has a liquid liner, um, a felt tip. And I've been wearing it for a few days now. <sighs> the pencil liner is really great. I use it in the tight line um, per usual. And then this felt tip is so beautiful. Like, do you see how dark my my eyeshadow my eyeliner is I just feel like it's so dark the only thing about this is okay let me share let me share you like the other two that I've been loving I love the Sicily this is a felt tip super black super matte this might be my favorite mm, I like brush tips and this is a felt tip so I would say this is my favorite formula not necessarily my favorite delivery like device um, or component whatever you want to call it and then this is the Tom Ford which has you know, this is a brush tip. And then the other side has like a little baby felt tip. So from top to bottom, the top two are the Tom Ford. The top one is the mini side. And then the second one is the brush tip. The center one is the Sicily. The fourth one is the Tarte. So do you see how the Tarte, like all of these, the Tom Ford and the Tarte, all run a little bit in your lines. Do you see how perfect the Sicily one applies? Like it does not move, it's matte, it's black, it's dark. So as far as like performance and look, I think the Sicily wins, but the other two are still really good. I still reach for them, you know, but the Tarte one specifically more so, I think if you have like hooded eyes or you have a lot of lines in your eyes, I would say go away, <laughs> stay away because it bleeds. Um, not that it doesn't bleed when I apply it to my eyes, but I feel like if you have more issues and have more higher standards or preferences when it comes to what you need for liquid liner, then don't go for Tarte. Sicily, I know it was like super expensive. Um, I mentioned that I had gotten mine off of Rue La La, so it was like 30 bucks as compared to, I don't know how much it is originally, it's like 70, 80, something crazy like that. Okay, next is a mascara. It's from YSL. It's called The Shock. This is not waterproof, but it's waterproof. Do you know what I mean? Okay, here's the thing. It's water... Mm, it holds a curl. That's what I mean. I always have to use waterproof mascara because I need my curl to stay. I have straight lashes and I need them to stay up. So waterproof is super necessary for me. Now this gives me the exact same look as a waterproof mascara. The only thing is, if I take a cotton pad and I run water on the waterproof mascara side, it doesn't budge. Like, literally looks the same. But if I take water and I run it across this mascara, then, you know, it wipes right off. However, it holds a curl. So please explain to me how that works because I've never experienced this before. So this, okay, first of all, it smells amazing. Please explain to me why I like that the mascara smells good. Also, why does it need to smell good? But it smells so good. This is in the shade Rough Burgundy. I know, I love the name. This color is so pretty. Um, I mean, I generally go towards reds, oranges, mustards, or like the Kat Von D shadow I just showed you. So I wanted to get a mascara that would define and darken but not be black and then just like amplify whatever eyeshadow I was wearing. And this totally does that. Um, you can't see it on my lashes because between, I don't know, the lighting and just, you can't see my lashes really because not that many to show you. However, for those of you guys who are into trying out mascaras, give this one a go. If you don't like waterproof mascaras, it might go 50-50 on you because um, when I read reviews for this, the reviews are very on the opposite ends of the spectrum. People either really like it or they really don't like it. So in looking at all like maybe the one star reviews, people are just like, oh, it's clumpy. Well, it's a, it's a volumizing mascara, so uh, if you don't like clump, and also here's the other thing, I think some people, I don't know if they're really giving it a fair shot, when you look at the mascara wand, it looks really clumpy, but when you apply it, it totally does not clump on my lashes. It just creates, it like thickens the lashes that I have and looks really pretty. The way I've been wearing it a lot is using a waterproof mascara like that I usually use and then putting this on after as like a second coat it looks so thick and I kind of get like that burgundy purple color and it's so pretty um, obviously it's not something you notice immediately 
um, people with like blue eyes I'm sure it's like even more obvious and super super beautiful but I'm so into this mascara so I would recommend it to you I'm not someone that like goes into like high-end mascara realm that often but but I super love this mascara and I'm just gonna just keep using it because I it, ugh, the smell guys I don't know why I'm so addicted to the smell it smells like some maybe some of the YSL skincare oh, it just smells really good really bougie and looks I shared the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Eye Cream with you guys last vlog. I don't know if it's because like it's not super summer yet. Maybe when it's like 80 degrees consistently, I'll like it more. But I'm not not finding that it's giving me like the moisture that I like. For nighttime, I think it's fine. But like in during the day, in the morning when I apply makeup on top of it, it just doesn't do what I want it to do. Like it's moisturizing until I start trying to layer, so it doesn't uh, absorb product. The the Makeup looks fine, but the, just for me, it's like a feel thing. So this might be just like a preference thing. This is the Cover FX Anti-Age Smoothing Eye Primer. This is a huge tube. You get 20 milliliters of product. And I feel like, okay, it works well as an eye primer when I apply it and then my makeup doesn't move for the rest of the day. It's a really great primer, but I think that it's very kind of sticky and it's also very emollient. Um, I think if you have dry lids, definitely give this a go. I think you might really like it. And then second of all, if you, I feel, I haven't tried it as a glitter base, but I feel like if you have like more glittery eyeshadows, this might also work really well. Um, it's a very interesting eye primer. I don't like it and I don't dislike it. I'm just, I think it just depends on, I'll need it for certain looks. You know what I mean? Because when I, if you use a synthetic like so it's a very soft synthetic brushes to blend out your shadow it it sticks so it doesn't blend whereas if I use like a more animal hair brush I guess or a coarser brush then it moves so it's a little finicky but it's like a good product still if that makes sense I know that's not like a great review but I think it's specific to your preferences the Sicily eye concealer uh, I said I was like oh I'm not like crazy about it now I'm pretty into it. I have been wearing it every day. You have to use... Okay, not you have to. I've recently discovered the Real Techniques, those mini sponges. Oh my god. <laughs> Life changing. Not the mini mini ones, but like the mini eraser sponges. So it's like not the biggest one, not the smallest one, but the one in between. I'll have to show it to you in the next vlog. I had it. I thought I had it here, but I guess I don't. Um, I have been loving those. I might have to go revisit the Real Techniques sponge, like their actual sponge, because I have been loving the way it makes concealer look, any concealer under the eyes. It looks amazing, like this gel skin beautifulness. So remember when I shared the Ardell Baby Demi and Baby Wispies with you? In the last vlog, I didn't like the Baby Wispies. I also do not like <laughs> the Baby Demis. They just look, I've like tried to wear them and I haven't. Like I've just cut them to wear them and <sighs> they're just too like, um, like the lashes generally can look pretty good on camera, but the way I want them to look in real life is very different from how I need them to look on camera. And these just look really like fake and like, I don't know, not cute. Lastly, when I bought the Kat Von D eyeshadow, I had like, you know, I picked a 100 point perk. And this is the Hourglass uh, Girl uh, lip products. And this is in the shade pa not Pacemaker, <laughs> Peacemaker. It's so pretty, it's what I have on. It's like this really gorgeous like peachy shade and I love the formula of this. So let me swatch this for you. And then this is the one I have that I thought was similar. This is called Influencer and this is a full size. The formula of these are so nice. So the top one is Influencer and the bottom one is Peacemaker. Ugh, Peacemaker is just slightly different and then in that it's like just a little more my shade. There's like more peach in it. My hair is so flat, I keep wanting to lift it. I put nothing in it today so I probably should have um, if you are shopping on Sephora and this is still available and you're interested in the shade definitely get it because this little mini has one and a half grams whereas the full size has two and a half grams so you're only missing a gram here definitely worth it okay I literally put some dry shampoo in my hair and like I got into the car so let me share the rest of makeup with you I'm like I'm I'm like motivated I'm like I'm going to share makeup in this video so the, the, the last item I wanted to share with you is this. This is the Lancome Matte Shaker. This is in the shade Yummy Pink, and you're like, that is not a Jen shade. It's not, because it's pink, but um, these juicy shakers tend to be, or this is a matte shaker, 
the shakers tend to be a more sheer formula. Now, I had had three of the juicy shakers, and I liked them and thought they were fun, but regardless of the color I had, I had like a pink, I had like a light pink, a more peachy color, and like a more purpley color, and they all kind of looked the same on me. This is different. I've looked at swatches online of the other shades. These are much more pigmented, or they're as pigmented as a sheer formula can be. So what I've been doing with this, I've been wearing this every single day since I got it. So it's been maybe a week um, because I feel like it makes my my look brighter, like I look healthier, more awake. But look, so I just, I almost do like a popsicle lip, you know, the kind of lip that Andrew really likes doing. And I never really do that because it's like cute and I don't do the cute thing. But look, I just put it on like on like the center. I don't have it like, you know, obviously on the periphery. This color, it's just sheer enough, but it brightens and it looks so healthy, which is like, you know, my favorite look. Um, do you guys see that? And the color stays because it's a matte shade. Um, the Juicy Shakers, I think, stained a tiny bit, but these really wear really nicely through the day. Um, but because it's a matte formula, not that it's not comfortable, it's super comfortable. It's like an oil, you know, so it feels very comfortable on the lips and it doesn't like give you that like, you know, your lines don't show, which is like the most important thing to me for a matte lip color, that and that it's comfortable. I always wear a lip balm underneath all of my matte lip shades. In fact, you know what? I just start my makeup every day with this. This is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Kiss. Um, it like lives on my vanity. You guys see how oh, like it's being used. So every day after skincare, before makeup, I apply this and it just, and it just smells good. It feels good. It's like, almost impossible to smell a Sol de Janeiro product without closing your eyes. I realized that whenever I would smell like the Boom Boom Cream or this and I have the shower gel coming which I'm very excited about. But okay back to this. If you've seen the Juicy Shakers right so same kind of like device but it's just oh, it's so nice like I'm putting more on than I usually would but I want you to see how pretty it is. And it leaves it like the finish is so natural even if you don't tap it in, like I tap everything in because like by habit, but so nice. Also putting a lip balm under this makes it easier to like blend if you want to blend multiple colors together. I just think it's so pretty. I think there's something about the applicator that makes you want to keep applying it. Or maybe it's just me because it, I love tapping in lip products so like it feels so nice. Like a lip massage. Look how natural and pretty that looks. Right? So gorgeous. Okay, let's get this camera out of my face. Now. <sighs> okay, guys, it's been like a rough week with this skin thing. I, you know when you try to self-diagnose, I like looked up stuff online of, I like I described my condition and looked up pictures. From what I can see, it it's like your pores are clogged. I was like, okay, how? Me. I take really good care of my skin. How are my pores clogged? So essentially, when I see any pictures that, looks, that look like what's happening to my skin, people just are like, oh, they need to exfoliate more. I mean, I enjoy both chemical and physical exfoliants. I'm like, why is my skin clogged? How are my pores clogged? And I know like I talked a lot about this in this vlog, but it's driving me insane, guys. Like, you know how everyone has their thing? Like some people have really perfect teeth, some people have great eyebrows, some people have great hair, a great ass, perfect tits, whatever. My thing, my thing is that I always have good skin. Like I can always depend on my skin to not look bad, for it to always look good. So when you take that from me, it's like you like took like 90% of my confidence away. It's just a very like I don't know how to make it sounds like so like shut up Jen but I, that's how I feel like it's you know it's like my thing 